the 12 April system is a system different than, than conventional and different than grazing. It is a totally different con uh, system that you can develop and you can't do it overnight, but you can develop it piece at a time. We have 100 acres here on the farm and uh, we have 70 acres in pasture, 20 acres in woods. We have 83 cows right now. We want to stay under 90 cows. That's what fits the land. But what the system is, is that we have 29 paddocks here. 29 paddocks with two and a half to three and a half acres per paddock. And with that, we have something growing in every one of those paddocks that's different. And we have dividers that we can divide this into where the cows will graze one of these paddocks each day. And it'll look like it's been mowed with a lawnmower. But the thing of it is, it can be designed any way you want it. You just gotta have crops that you grow that the cows can get to. I think the variety that we have here, I truly feel the cows really do appreciate it. Cause they'll, they'll, they'll come into a field and when it's a new field, it's like they broke their neck, <laughs> they start grazing. And that's what I always say, those cows, you see those cows heads down there making money. Rotational grazing is they'll, this, this grass here, those cows will eat that, but the protein level is, is low and the nutritional value is low. So they won't have maybe six or eight or 10,000 pound herd average, but they've cut their input cost. So they've done that, but I didn't cut my production. I'm 22,000 pound herd, but I plant, I graze a crop, not grass. I graze a crop. I don't graze fescue. I don't graze Bermuda. I don't graze any grass. Now, I do plant ryegrass with my crop, but I plant a crop. I plant it four or five times in the year, a different crop. And so my cows are grazing tremendous amount of forage, and the nutritional value is out the roof. 